Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I want to cover the answer to a question that I've been asked at least 30 to 40 times a week for the last five years. I actually just got done speaking with a potential client who was asking me questions about this drive because, of course, he's having issues with it. The drive I'm speaking about is a Chinese TB6600. Now, many of you are already familiar with this drive, whether it came bundled with your Chinese system or whether you've purchased it outright because the price was so good you couldn't pass it up. I mean, whether you're buying the individual drive that goes for between $15 to $18 online or if you're buying the integrated driver set where, again, it comes in an integrated motherboard format. There's dip switches on it. Typically, it comes in three, four. Now, I believe it even comes in five axis. I wanted you guys to understand that when I speak of this infamous drive, when I talk about Chinese drives, this is the number one drive that I've retrofitted, okay? I would say 95% of my retrofits are dealt with this drive with good reason. The signal interpretation of this drive plainly sucks. Its EMI interference ratio is far greater than most drives I've worked with. Um, the quality aspect of the Toshiba chipset that the Chinese like to you know, put out there, it's just not there, guys. That being said, I was actually perusing uh, Gecko Drive's uh, Facebook page, and I went through a post, and I actually found a post here on August 20th at 9 a.m. I'm going to read it to you. Meet our most popular and affordable stepper driver, the G251X. Now, many of you may not know what the G251X is. Watch this video right here, and Marcus will explain exactly what the G251X is about. Uh, to give you guys a quick breakdown, you can see this drive right here has a terminal block on it. This one over on the right side only has uh, male pins. This particular drive is the G250X. This one is the G251. The only difference is the terminal block being mounted on the G251. The G250 is what you find inside the G540. Being it has the male pins, it simply plugs into the G540's motherboard. When he's speaking about this drive, and I'm going to keep reading this here, you guys are going to see the disparity really quick. The G251X is a high-performance and low-cost stepper motor control that outputs up to 300% of the shaft torque of a TB6600 and other chip-based drives. Don't be fooled by its size. G251X is small but mighty. Guys, I can tell you right now, there is no doubt that is absolutely true. I've built some massive systems. If you review my channel, you'll see exactly what I've built. And the flagship system that I go with is the 540 all the time. The value is there, and of course, uh, its ability to work with a multitude of systems is amazing. That being said, just put aside the fact that the signal interpretation problems, the chipset issues, the instability of this drive, when we're looking here at the output can be up to 300% of the shaft torque of a TB6600. Guys, that's massive. And what's really amazing about that is the Chinese like to put out that that board you know, can handle, I've seen it go up to, I believe, 5 amps, which... Again, that is a massive disparity considering the G540 is rated at 3.5, and okay? And that's peak amp. Of course, that's not RMS. So when we look at that, and even, I mean, many of you already know, even a 50% difference in shaft torque is massive. Seeing that Gecko took the time to actually post this, it reiterates everything many of you find out after you've been burned and find my channel, and I'm really trying to get away from that. I want you guys to find me, hopefully, the right way, before you get burned, before you spend money. And I know in this case, if you just buy the board of the drives, thank God they're relatively cheap. If you buy a system integrated with this and are expecting it to work properly, most of you find my channel when you go to cut something and have major issues, and that's when you find me. And I'm really trying to get away from that. So I hope this video finds you all well. I hope it saves many of you the hassle of dealing with this board. But if you come in contact with it, Hopefully, you just bought the board itself. Like I said, it's much cheaper that way. In essence, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, of course. I'm trying to answer all the comments and emails I'm getting. Of course, now we're dealing with peak season. We're getting into it. We're trying to plan some Black Friday specials. I'm also working on finishing a project. And just to give you guys a, you know, a quick lowdown of what I've been working on, because many of you have had requests for this, I've actually started working with... Um, Highwind directly as far as becoming uh, an actual distributor of Highwind from Taiwan. Many of you are familiar with Highwind. Uh, they are a commercial robotics industry leader. Um, and in all honesty, one of the big things that I've seen online is just how complex systems have become. And when I say that, 
My biggest thing is I never wanted to offer a system I couldn't support. I wanted it to be as simple as possible for you guys to grow with and expand your business. And I want it to be something where it's open bill format, which sounds like a lot, that you guys can naturally purchase and come up with your own designs for automation in a very, very simple format, dealing away with linear axis and still getting the precision, more or less, of a pro-grade level machine in a much smaller chassis. Um, I've basically achieved it. I've achieved it utilizing um, steel subframes with ball screws. Um, and this design has set me back now months of research and design, but I can honestly say that it's very, very close to being offered. And uh, to many of you, I know you've asked, and I wanted to let you know the progress, and we are just about there. I'm right now waiting on some brackets to be done um, as far as doing um, engineering on them. And as soon as we get them done, we should be set. Uh, but as far as everything else goes, guys, I cannot say thank you enough. Um, if you guys do have any questions, of course, or request quotes, please message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. Or you can message me um, through my eBay store. Either one of them, you'll definitely get me. It's just a matter of time which one I'm in the shop actually reading first. Uh, again, I'll put the links in the description, and you guys will be all set. Thank you again. Take care.